So in this video, we'll find out the deformation in tapered bar. Tapered bar. What do you mean by tapered bar here? It is a solid bar, but it's the cross-sectional area goes on the decreases. So one end is big and one more end is it is small here. So taper the solid bar, the diameter, the it will be varying. So that is called taper bar. If this bar is subjected to an axial tensile load P, an axial tensile load P, then how much will be the change in length? That is deformation. It will happens. That we need to derive here. Okay. In the previous video, video we derived the deformation for uniform bar. The diameter is constant. At that time, we derived the equation uh, that is the deformation equal to uh, PL by E. That is PL by E. E we derived in the previous video, where P is the applied load, tensile load. L is the length of uniform bar. E is the cross section of the uniform bar. E is the Young's modulus. This is previous video. So in this video, the same the deformation we will derive. Uh, uh, we will find out. But what will be the form uh, the derivation for this one? Okay. Now. The picture you see here, just I'll explain. The this is the tapered bar. It is subjected to tensile load P, axial tensile load P, and its bigger end diameter is D1, smaller end diameter is D2, D2, and its length is L. In its length is L. Okay, and this part is we are considered the small elemental portion, and we derived first deformation in this. Then we moved to the whole the tapered bar. Okay. Now consider tapered bar shown in figure. Shown in figure. Let d one d one equal to diameter diameter at bigger end at big end at bigger end. Okay, diameter at the bigger end. What is the D two? D two equal to D two equal to diameter at smaller end. Smaller end. And L equal to length of the bar. Length of bar. Okay. Next, what is the P? P equal to applied. Axial tensile load. Why it is axial? Because the load is acting along with the axis of the bar here. So it is called axial tensile load. Okay. So these are the data. Now consider a small elemental portion. Okay. Consider is a small element. small element it is at a distance of x from the left side from the bigger end and its length is the element length is dx and the element diameter is d sub x x this is different this is different this is d sub x x and this is dx here okay consider a small element uh, at a distance at a distance x from big end from big end okay uh, what is the dx dx equal to length of element dx this is length of element d of x x see these two are different different this is dx and this is d of x x D sub x x equal to diameter, diameter of element, element. Okay. Now first, we will find out the deformation, deformation of this element. Then we will integrate whole zero to length, uh, zero to l. We will get the deformation along with the whole bar. Okay. Uh, so. Deformation of element 
deformation of element first we will find out that will be equal to del L suffix x okay this will be equal to what is the basic formula here that is p l by a e p l by a e a e okay so this i can write it as p what is l here l of the element is dx into dx a of x a of this element and young's modulus okay call this one as equation a okay now p as usual at dx it is the length but we need to concentrate on area area of this element with respect to d1 and d2 okay d1 and d2 so what is area here that is area ax equal to obviously it is a diameter obviously it is diameter it is pi by 4 it is the dx its diameter is dx square that is dx square dx square okay now how how about dx dx in terms of diameter d1 and d2 i need the diameter of x this the in the portion in terms of d1 and d2 okay now the dx we will find out that is dx equal to what is the diameter here first the if you want to find out the diameter of this one the obviously this minus something is there so d1 first the d1 minus how much is there okay remaining how much portion this is the d1 remaining minus d1 minus d2 d1 minus d2 divided by l into x So I will tell what is the dx. This is the dx. Obviously, it is d1, d1 minus d1 minus how much is there? That is d1 minus d2 upon l divided by length with x here. That is x at a distance of x. You need to make minus in the d1. Then only you will get the diameter of this one here. Okay. So now I will take this one as d1 minus k into x that is dx where k equal to d1 minus d2 divided by l just for simplicity i took d1 minus d2 divided by l equal to k okay so this is dx this is dx so after finding out of the dx where we need to go find out in area area of the uh, uh, element here uh, here I'll read this one as B. Therefore, uh, equation B becomes what is the area of element here? Ax equal to pi by 4 into dx substitute the dx value that is d1 minus k into x square okay this is the area of the element area of the element here so now after finding out of the area of the element where we need to go we need to find out the deformation of the element because here area is there so that's why we found the area here so now if you go to the equation a equation a substitute area that is area therefore equation a become so deformation of the element x del l of x equal to p as usual into dx is the length of the element divided by area of the element is how much that is pi by 4 d1 minus k into x whole square Okay, this is the, the deformation of the element here. Uh, into E, into E. That is Young's modulus, into E here. Okay, so now, if I want, this is the, now, this is the deformation of the element. 
Now, if I want the deformation of the whole tapered bar, you need to integrate. You need to integrate 0 to whole length. 0 to whole length. Uh, therefore, for bar for bar of length L, L, the deformation, how the deformation I'll write, that is integration of, that is total deformation, dl equal to integration of 0 to l, integration of 0 to l into the deformation of small, the uh, element here. This I will write 0 to l, substitute p into dx divided by pi by 4 d1 minus k into x. Okay. So, which is the variable here? That is, x is the variable. We need to integrate everything with respect to, to x here. So, a constant, you just remove it here separately. That is, 4p, here e also it will come. Sorry for that. So, here e. So, uh, 4p divided by pi into e. Pi into e into integration of 0 to l. That is, 1 divided by d1 minus k into x whole square. This is square and this is square, right, uh, into dx, into dx. So next, so now you need to integrate this with respect to x here, that is 4p divided by pi into e, I will just, after integration, what I will get here, that is, take this one as, uh, just I will take this one, 0 to l, d1 minus kx, I will take this one as in numerator that is minus 2 into dx. Okay. This will be equal to 4p divided by pi e into integration of 0 to l. No, uh, just now I am integrating. How uh, you are getting that? My integrate integration is d1 minus kx minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1. Okay. Uh, into integration of the, the inner portion that will get into integration of minus 1 divided by k you will get. Okay. So, so dl equal to that is deformation equal to 4p divided by pi e pi e and uh, k also minus and minus this minus 2 plus 1 it is minus 1 into minus it is plus 1 by k I will take outside that is uh, also 1 by k that is 1 by k <coughs> this is 0 to l this is 0 to l right after integration so I am getting here <coughs> if you take this one in numerator uh, denominator uh, 1 divided by d1 minus kx okay therefore 1 divided by d1 minus kx that is 0 to l Okay, 0 to L here. Now, now outside is 4p divided by pi e into k. Pi e into k. Now substitute upper limit and lower limit. Uh, before substituting upper and lower limit, what is k here? For simplicity before, I made here. k equal to, what is that? d1 minus d2 divided by l. I am substituting 1 divided by d1 minus this is d1 minus d2 divided by l into x. This is 0 to l. I am substituting because for simplicity before I made k equal to d1 minus d1 minus d2 divided by l. The same I am substituting now here. Here you can substitute later. Okay. Substitute later. Now again sub, sub, uh, substitute upper and lower limit here. How much you will get? That is dl equal to 4p divided by pi e into k. First, I will substitute upper limit. That is 1 divided by d1 minus d, d1 minus d2 divided by l into l. Right? Upper limit. I am substituting <coughs> upper limit l. Now, minus. Now, substituting lower limit. 1 divided by 
डी वन माइनस डी वन माइनस डी टू डिवाइडेड बाई एल इंटू एक्स इज वॉट जीरो ओके आई सब्सिट्यूटेड अपर एंड लोअर लिमिट दिस विल बी इक्वल टू फोर पी डिवाइडेड बाई पाई इंटू के पाई इंटू के ना दिस एल दिस एल कैंसल एंड दिस माइनस डी वन एंड प्लस डी वन इट विल गोज देर एंड माइनस इंटू माइनस प्लस वन डिवाइड बाई डी टू हियर वन डिवाइडेड बाई डी टू यूर गेटिंग दैट इज एल एल कैंसल माइनस इंटू माइनस डी वन एंड प्लस डी वन इट विल कैंसल माइनस इंटू माइनस प्लस इट इज डी टू वन डिवाइड बाई डी टू नाउ इफ यू कम टू हियर वॉट यूल गेट हियर माइनस दिस इज होल इज जीरो बिकॉज द जीरो वन डिवाइडेड बाई डी वन दैट इज वन डिवाइडेड बाई डी वन यू आर गेटिंग हियर Now, this will be equal to four p divided by pi e k. Take LCM d one d two. How much here? This is d one minus d two, right? Now, four p divided by pi e. Substitute k value. What about for simplicity? Before we made k equal to d one minus d two. Divided by l, right? Divided by l into d1 minus d2 divided by d1 d2. Okay. Now again simplify. That is dl dl equal to 4p l l will comes in numerator l divided by pi e pi e into d1 minus d2. Right here, d1 minus d2 divided by d1 d2. Now this d1 minus d2, this d1 minus d2 cancels. So finally we will get 4 p l divided by pi e into d1 d2. This is T formation for the tapered bar. How you remember here? That is. Now the common formula for uh, deformation is PL by E. Just I'll tell here PL by E. Uh, how we'll write this one? PL by E. This I can write it P L A area of this tapered bar. A how we'll write pi d square by four normally pi divided by four take in denominator d square is d one d two d one d two E. Okay. This is same as this one. If you want to remember, P L by A E, P L P L A E is area of the tapered bar. Area of the tapered bar. Uh, normally, the uniform bar pi d square by four. Here, instead of d square, you will get d one d two, d one d two divided by four. Only the change is d one d two. Instead of d square for uniform, here you will get d one d two. So this is the uh, deformation of the tapered bar. Okay, so finally, for uniform bar, I'll write for uniform bar the deformation is the deformation is P L by A E, P L by A E. Okay, next for tapered bar, the deformation is. P L A A will be changing because for tapered bar A will be changing. What is the A? Pi by four d one d two d one d two into E. Okay, these are the important formulae for uh, the <coughs> deformation while solving the exam uh, examples. Okay.